to always win the last game. You guys already know. Ooh, Hang Savage was confident. He was confident going into it. I like it. Before anyone asks, people are going to be confused. He's wearing the fish thick skin because the Ma had a bounty where anyone who won with this skin got an extra $100. The pistol's actually crazy. It, it shows you how good the burst SMG, regular SMG, and strike AR are. That bit we don't use the pistol. The pistol's cover. actually nuts. Contesting you, man, you ass. Damn, Smack Talk coming out of Savage. Jeez. It's Savage really might be so in his prime game. at the moment. He's looking pretty nuts it's every time I watch him play. Wait, that was Pigeon? Was that Faded Pigeon? No. That's what you get for taking down his duo three years ago in <laughs> Stark Season or whatever it was. Oh, good start, man. This PY is crazy. Said it a few times, but this is the only draw spot I made a video on this entire season. It's so good. So underrated. Yeah, gotcha. Guaranteed loot drones. You've got easy king to pretty much three mythic PYs around you. Central map, you have priority of forecast tower. Where's his chest, man? The tunnel to the southwest has like 12 of those attachment bins with guaranteed guns. Like, it's such a good drop. But I feel like with the amount of big names going here now, it's probably very well known. Mongol drops here, Savage drops here, Peterbot drops here. Like, very well-known drop spot now. Hey, you could have figured it out first if you followed my TikTok, though. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Dude does not want to take the sniper battle. He just runs. I'm good. And then just leaves. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> just leaves. Nice. Why is chat hating on my skin, bro? <laughs> like, I'm actually going to win this game. No problem. That's already hating on the fish stick. Oh. Is he going to run Flowberry? So, he's gonna so he runs double mobility. The grappler and the flowberries. I feel like he'll probably drop flowberries for bigs or maybe med kits. No, I guess for the I guess four flowberries is worth more than a, a big pot. Wonder if he drops it for med kits though. Maybe he drops the minis for med kits. Flowberry, the flowberries are pretty strong. Pretty slow start for a high kill game. Okay, now he's gonna use the EMPs to buy med kits, right? So is he gonna drop the flowberries for med kits? I think he's gonna drop flowberries for med kits here. I feel like medkits, medkits flowberry is probably better than medkits minis, right? No, wait, what? Hold up. So he got the EMPs to get 400 gold and then didn't buy medkits with them? With another What's the 400 gift, gold for then? What's he saving it for? Attachments? If he goes to the vault, maybe? Maybe he wants to attach his weapons after taking down Peter at Snooty. Interesting. Okay. He's prioritizing the attachments over What's three medkits. Especially in finals too. In finals, medkits are so OP. Okay, all right. I believe, I believe he goes on to get a 20 plus kill win. He's missed the 200 IQ for a reason. Snooty is 100% unconned. Wow. Okay then. Huh. That's rare. Damn, dude. What? No wonder why no one on EU is dropping 30 bombs. What? Snooty is completely 100% unconned. <laughs> why does he do that? I still like, how has this become normal? How am I watching this? I'm still just like, yeah, this is normal. We have Mr. Savage trying to kill Peter Griffin to get the best loot in the game. And he starts nice doing a, a, a like maraca dance to then gain shield. Like what's happening? Is someone here? He doesn't even go to the vault to spend the gold that he I got. I just need to get out of storm. Huh? This might All right, so we're just saving our gold. Here. Maybe he wants to like buy the heal top up later as well. Cammy did win a game the other day. By using the heal top up in the heal off. He did drop the purple burst SMG I for the blue striker. Most of the, most of the people who are king for high kill games are running the burst up. SMG now. I think he's going to play super aggressive through the end game. Savage seems to really like to get his kills on rotating zones. That's what let down Peterbot's 40 bomb. Peterbot would have got a 40 bomb yesterday. But he had two rotating zones with only like one kill. He was on pace for the 40. Oh, this guy's actually pretty solid. Savage not disengaging. So this guy's put up a good fight. Savage's done no damage and he's still playing this aggressive. So Savage is truly just going for a high kill game. He's not playing passive at all. Oh, holds the shotgun out. Tries to bait him to edit and go for the trade. He knows he's weaker than he is. And he can't be one pumped. He has the only gun in the game that can even get close oh, to one pumping. So use. this guy has used like... 500 metal, 300 wood. Like, damn, this dude is going through it. Does this guy have siphon mats now? That guy had siphon mats. He literally used every single build he has. He just died with nine wood at the end of that. Wow. Now we came for the medallion. Give me no bush. That's him. Oh, 
Well, this would be his second medallion of the game, too. It should be big. Oh, we're going to disengage. We're going to leave the medallion player alone. Okay. Or are we? <laughs> I was seeing the vision there. I think we're going to try and camp in the tree then. Just feels so weird to see a pro dropping a high That's kill weird. game wearing this dumbass fish thick skin. <laughs> This is going to be one of the only times I've ever been scared to fight someone wearing this skin. Like, I'm not about wearing sweat skins. You guys know me, but this thing is bulky. Bro, I just choked my nuts. Oh. Oh, oh. I thought, we're going to, I thought we're going to finally see one of the only times someone's used that mantle and actually worked. Oh, in the cone. Oh. Wow, that was disgusting. And edited the one, edited the cone away from the only wall that guy had so he could run. That was beautiful. I thought bigger skins were bad. That's my girl. That's my wife right there, chat. Even my wife knows that this skin is terrible. Yeah, okay. So he's not running the med kit. So he still doesn't want the med kits. It's too early for med kits. So he runs the flow berry until he gets towards end game. I mean, it's smart. If you're going to drop like 20 plus kill win, you're going to get med kits in end game. Let's be real. Like, you're going to kill someone carrying three to six med kits because everyone's stacking them. When people aren't stacking the flow berries, so. Yeah, I think it's possible to get a high kill game on EU. We just got to have someone who just has a game good enough to do it. Because at this point, like, Peterbot was still just running at everyone. Savage is, Savage is fighting easy opponents, but if anyone's, like, boxed up, he's just leaving them. Where Peterbot just walks up to any box and starts smacking. But again, the average player in these lobbies is harder on EU, obviously, so. Well, it's harder. It's just EU's this got more players, bro, so... Even though this qualifies 11,500 people on EU, the higher thing. points you need to qualify on a region, the better the average player is. Oh, he's found him in the bush. Big beams. Oh, the bush piece. I thought he was actually going to destroy him when he couldn't even see him. Oh. Boy. Ooh, nice damage. That's three medallions. All right, we're up to three. Played that well. 46 alive. So he must pick up the pace going into the late game. I think on rotating zones, he must get a lot of his kills. I think Savage just doesn't like playing fighting players already boxed up. Where once he gets the rotating zones, I think that's where he feels more confident to start playing aggressive. Oh, wait, we're going to key this guy. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're going to start keying some boxes. I mean, he's boxed up center zone in a single box of metal. <laughs> Savage is pretty confident he was sitting in the cone. Oh, no. This guy is looking panicked. Oh, no. This guy is looking really panicked. I feel bad for this guy, man. This is me, like, boxed up on a cache, like, just trying to play for endgame, and then just some kid comes along like this, and of course, they're just so much better. Oh, ramp flip. Can't get the phase in, though. Savage actually choking his edits a little bit here. Gets that one. Gets the pre-piece. Oh, gets the cone. Come on. This guy's movement's actually over. pretty solid. I think this guy's panicking so hard, he's just sprint strafing everywhere, and Savage can't lock him down. This guy does have a medallion, though. Got a medallion. Nice. Alright, we're up to four. One to go. We're one, we're, we're, we're one off Thanos. And there's still 41 alive. Yeah, it's hard to find exactly who has it now and everyone's so much closer. Oh, nice pre-fire. This guy almost caught him with that though. Might not look like it, but that's honestly the smartest playstyle you can uh you can employ when you're versing Savage. Wait for him to go on a wall, edit out, and just go for the doof doof. All right, so who's got the last medallion? Who's stopping us from me, Thanos? Maybe the guy on the island? Maybe. All right, we're fighting for the island. Not for the points, but for the fight. Oh, oh my God. The double, the double piece there wasn't that impressive. That, that shot was though, bro. man. That shot angle was disgusting. That flick to the bottom right there was nice. Guy was hugged right up against the wall. The six minis is interesting. I feel like at this point, once you have four or five, like once you have even two medallion, even one medallion, you could argue minis aren't worth it. You basically should carry yeah, almost well, anything else. Like we're going to have to kill the whole lobby. 
We're still trying to find this last medallion. He's looking for it. He thinks this guy might have it, apparently. A lot of these players aren't just editing out of the cone like I expected them to. A lot of them are still going down and playing passive. This guy's already choked the cone and he's panicking. Savage has put him between him and the enemy. Pretty much putting him in the perfect spot to get lobbied and Savage taking advantage of this now. And oh, this guy hits the shot though. If he played like that from the start, he maybe would have won this. All right, now he drops the bigs. Surely he's going to drop the minis for the make hits, right? If he carries minis and bigs, I'm going to be so triggered. Please drop the minis. Please don't drop. Why? Why are we running minis over bigs with four battalion Savage? I'm going to get triggered. <laughs> Clearly doesn't matter. 35 alive, 8 elims. All right. So we get a lot of our kills here on rotating zones. So we pretty much get like 13 of the next 30 opponents. Nice. That was actually perfect. He stopped shooting his AR. Waited for the opponent to try to pre-fire and use that to break the wall and then took it. That was smart. Weird zone as well. A lot of, lot of mountain zones here. There's a lot of elevation here to cause some issues. Isn't it crazy how like a 20 elim win now is like not that crazy though? Like this seems so slow after watching Peter Bot's game. Alright. Still haven't found our fifth medallion though. Oh, yeah, we are just... Okay. So the difference between, Sa like, Savage's game here and the 30 bombs is just he didn't play as aggressive during the uh, mid-game. He played way more passive during the mid-game, but end-game, he is aggressive. I think he's just still looking for the medallion. <laughs> At this point, I think the medallion really matters, bro. Just run the bigs instead. He's trying so hard to get five medallions, but keeps carrying minis over bigs, dude. I'm triggered. Actually triggered. Oh, the pre-piece. Beautiful. Gets the other wall just in case he flips the stair. Doesn't go over aggro and jumps in. Yeah, just still keeps though. playing the piece in the distance. Yeah, Damn. They are still better. The amount of... Okay, the difference here as well is how many kills... Like, Savage got 11 kills and he's actually taken such little damage to get these kills. There hasn't been, like, a single fight here where I've been like, oh, man, he almost went down there. Where a lot of like Peterbot, Cold, like Reeds games, like I feel like they go down so weak so many times and just pull it off, you know? He's just not taking damage in most of these fights. Oh, nice. Again, dude, he's just. I wanna see how many kills in a row he can get here with taking zero return damage. Surely the next fight, they at least hit him for something, right? This is getting ridiculous. This is, like, impressive in its own right. Like, it might not be a 30 bomb, but to get this many kills without taking any damage is very impressive. <laughs> He's just landing on everyone's wall now. He's doing a really good job of staying on dead side. So, obviously, dead side, the part of zone with the least amount of players, usually where you want to rotate. But Savage keeps putting himself on dead side and then oh, pinning the opponent between die. them and congested side. So if he stands like here and fights someone here, the rest of the lobby is down here. So they're going to spray the person he's fighting in like a pincer movement. Oh, here we go. We finally get hit hard. Savage is very, very smart with how he's taking these fights. It might look like he's just jumping on every wall, but there is a lot more to it. Dude, my med kids? Oh no, now we want the med kids. Now we want the med kids and we don't have them. Which we still have the damn minis, bro. Also, how has he not found the fifth medallion yet? This medallion kid has just escaped this whole time. Zone goes back up over the mountain. This will kill this lobby out a little bit too. He probably could have got even more kills if this zone didn't go up over the mountain. He's baiting the pre-fire, trying to get him to edit. Whoa, we went really far. Hey, we're frontside though. That's fine. We didn't take any storm damage somehow. Damn, just like Peterbot, bro. He's, got, he's so good at first taking walls for not zero ping. I think Savage gets like 15 to 20 ping, where Peterbot's more like 20 to 30, but still really good at first taking walls. The timing is just so nice. Oh, he's going for high ground. Oh, puts up a good fight. Is he going to drop? 
All right, he drops off high ground. All right, we've realized high ground's actually pretty solid. Let's try and find some easier opponents. This is exactly what happened in Peterbot's game too. Test high ground, see if they're good. If they're solid, give it up. This is going to be the first ever 20 bomb from a fish stick. And he's doing it in EU solo victory finals to make it even more impressive. Oh, good shot. That is one thing that's really overpowered about these grapples, and I feel like people aren't talking about it as much. As long as you connect the grapple and someone builds, you still go through the builds. You don't get stuck as much. Oh. See, Savage is so many times where, like, a lot of players would pull their pickaxe out and try to take that wall there and keep pressuring. He always pulls the shotgun out and is willing to let them get away to not die. Because if he goes to pickaxe there and the guy edits, that could be his game thrown. So it might not be a 30 bomb, but man, he's playing so much safer and smarter. We have seen a 30 bomb in EU finals, by the way, though. Flixie managed to drop it on stream. So it is possible. It's just much less common than NA right now. Oh, Savage going back up for it. Oh, Savage playing for the win now. He's going for high ground. He might just, if he takes this, he might just play for the win on high ground. There it is. Doesn't have to worry too much about taking Storm Sickness because he's killed the lobby so much. It's probably not going to go to heal off. If he hadn't dropped 18 kills, this much storm damage taken, he would have already lost the game on EU. Oh. Another decent playoff on high ground. Has to give it up. Okay. Play it. The lobby's starting to die out a little bit now. Eight alive. 18 elims. Still very doable for the 20 bomb. But he's still carrying minis, bro. I'm going to freak out. This dude's had four medallions, like, basically the whole game. And is carrying minis until the very end. It's actually triggering me. He hasn't drank a single mini, but carried them the entire game. Ooh. All right, top five. One more for the 20 bomb. Oh, there it is. 20 bomb. 1v1v1. And like I said, with 20 kills, obviously the game is not going to go to heal off. Or if it does, it's not going to be a storm sickness amount of heal off at least. Oh, here it comes. Player's coming up and... Oh, we whiffed the pump. Luckily, the player can't shoot. He gets grapple bug. And it's the 1v1. Oh, do we win the 1v1 on a heal off though? Okay, so it does still go to heal off even with 21 kills. But the player was forced to drop out really early. So they're going to run out of meds before Savage. And we officially went the entire game carrying a stack of minis that we did not use a single one of. Oh, player's running as well. This player's been moving a lot. So I don't know how they're still healing while giving off visual audio. Must be a bug. That or they have a lot of floppers. How is this dude still alive while running? It must be a bug. Wait, this almost went to Storm Sickness. Even dropping 21 Elims and popping five medkits was almost not enough. Are you kidding me? W game from Savage though. Holy crap. Nice. Okay. With the fish stick. With the fish stick.